Howdy, and welcome to House of the Leopards by Val Darko. Download the link in the description if you'd like to play. The game's available at a name your own price, so if you're able to support the creator, uh, I would appreciate it. This seems to be their first game. It's at least their first game on their itch.io page. Uh, I saw a bit of it on Twitter, some tweet about it, and I was like, hey, that looks neat. I'd like to check it out. You may be wondering, what is a leopard? Uh, looking at the itch.io page, you'll quickly figure out that it's a member of the Leparide family. It's rabbits. It's it's. It's rabbits. It's just scientific name for rabbits. Uh, speaking of rabbits, there's a little quote on the itch.io page. Once upon a time, a woman was pestered by a rabbit who was eating all of her fine cabbages, and so she tells her daughter to hunt it. She asks the rabbit to please stop eating the crops, and he asks her to climb on his tail and accompany him to his house. A fragment from The Rabbit's Bride Tale. I've personally never heard of this one. Uh, the Grim Fairy Tales weren't Fairy Tale Grim. I think that's how I would normally hear it. Uh, it wasn't a big part of my childhood, um, aside from random bits and pieces and the things that got disnified over the years uh so let's jump in uh this game apparently has both a third person and first person way to play it i am unsure of how to change between the two of them i'm not sure if the um the first person mode is like a new game plus thing because i can go to the menu uh, and these are the only options that we have uh and also the game's uh Third person is a little interesting. You have to play it with the arrow keys. You can't use WASD. I'm not sure if that's some kind of limitation based on uh, the first person mode, because the first person mode uses WASD. So I'm not sure if it's some kind of key binding thing. It is the creator's first game, though, so it could have just been a matter of getting it to work or not. Like, you know, not everyone immediately is like, oh, yeah, WASD, that's. That's the way you do it. Uh, we found a thing. Uh, if we go to the menu, can we see? Oh, a fire. Uh, a fireplace. Look, it looks out. Oh, wow. That like totally tricked that and <laughs> tripped me up. But yeah, fireplace looks like it's out of use. Uh, we can't see that card we just picked up on our menu, but we got a card with a key on it. A key card, as you would. Oh, and there's an egg. We have acquired a green egg. I wish we could see our menu, but I don't believe there is an option for that just looking at the controls on the um the Chirayo page that they offer us we have an action button we have menu we have move what is our shirt oh our shirt's the logo on the um I, this might be the creator's logo let's see uh yeah um they have a gif of this and i'll put this on the screen it's like a little spinning disc um and yeah it's like a little like cat manticore bat thingy uh and that is also her shirt yeah, okay, we couldn't really see into this corner. So, oh, there's a snail in here. We can't interact with snail. I don't know how the interaction between snail and rabbit goes. Uh, I, because rabbit, rabbit, rabbit herbivore. Ra rabbit herbivore? Rabbit herbivore. So I'm guessing the interaction between snail and rabbit would be like, oh, shit, these guys got to, uh, you know, the thing we were going to eat before we could. So, um, you know, there may be a hostile relationship between snail and rabbit can't interact oh i okay i thought i couldn't interact with that uh photo but i guess there was an egg hidden back there um on the itch.io page they mentioned that there is a hidden area in the first person mode so perhaps there's supposed to be some other like little sneaky sneakers that you can find uh, and also you know we we saw a little ghosty ghost in here so of course we're going to come in here and check it out i mean you know maybe i'm just a white person one day destined to be murdered uh, in a back alley because I'll be like, huh, what is that? And then, you know, rush towards it um, and then get got by like Freddy Krueger or whatever. Oh, looks like drawings of rabbits. It does look like drawings of rabbits. That is true. You know, they, you know, pretty nice room, like nice house so far. Like, you know, it's empty, you know, all the furniture covered up. But, you know, a little room, nice tiling, some like uh, paintings of rabbits on the walls. It seems like a pretty good time. I'm glad that uh, the rabbit seemingly invited us here uh, to, you know, check out their home, see what's up. A lot of snails, though. I would not be pleased if there was this many snails uh, in my home, personally, you know. Uh, insects don't bother me, but mollusks. <laughs> now those guys, I got a bit beef. With no, I just, you know. You know, it's just like... Oh, we can actually. Oh, we got we got an Easter egg for interacting with the snail. Cool. It's just you know you don't want you don't want the insect in your home. It's like hey, I don't have beef with you guys, but you just should you shouldn't be in here. 
This is get get out of here, you crazy kids. Oh hey, here's a rabbit. And we hear a clock ticking in the background. Mother tells me not to play in this room. Okay, so there's like a hidden, almost a dungeon-like area uh, that I, we could assume you would scoot this painting over to hide. Um, although, you might notice, as a casual observer, being like, Hey, I think some of your fucking books are behind uh, that painting. You might want to check. Okay, so we... Uh, there's another key card in this clock. Three locks. Uh... We do have one key card. Doesn't seem to interact with that in any way. Uh, there's an egg by. I thought it was a big eye, but it's just a close up of the rabbit's face. Um, are these places that we should look to acquire these red Easter eggs? The Easter eggs we've been getting so far have been green. Uh, and I'm just going to try my m most d desperately to remember these locations. Uh, visual memory is one of my very, very big weak spots. Uh, we did see, is this this room? Because we can see this rabbit. Um, let's come over here. Yeah, by the black painting, you can see the rabbit's face. So if we like walk over here, would we find an Easter egg? Did I already acquire one and I wasn't paying attention? Because I am just kind of using the action. I am clicking the right one for the action. I believe it's the X key. Let me scroll down on the itch.io page because, okay, yes. I was just <laughs> starting to get paranoid that I was hitting the wrong thing, even though I've been hitting bu buttons and stuff has been happening. Um, but, you know, sometimes the brain works that way. Uh, so we know there's something in a corner with, like, a green mask-looking thing. Some. Oh, wait, what does that say? Can I get that again? Let's back it up. Back it up. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to get that text again. I probably shouldn't be just rapid fire spamming the action key. I might have accidentally uh, seen something for in the other room. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Something with a rabbit where you can get a green, uh, like, mat or, or a black painting, you know, with perspective. Green mask in corner and in between, like, a dining table. Um, I probably should. I just saw this door and was like, ah, oh, we probably can't do anything with it. Yeah, we don't really have a way to interact with it. Uh, that first door, we had a big, like, stone button we could push, <clears throat> which was convenient. Uh, okay, so if we collect enough green eggs, I'm guessing this door will open. I wonder if this is related to the secret area only available in first person, or if this is like a, hey, we're going to go on a little treasure hunt. I'm going to keep inspecting these very funny cod pieces, because, you know, so far it's been like if we check out something... It's kind of interesting uh, in the environment. It's Oh, that was just a big-ass rabbit head. Was it in the picture? Okay, yeah, we got our, our red key. Okay, so we've only seen one rabbit so far. Seems to be a child rabbit. Uh, we were told about Mother. But it also seems like they have decor of their own heads. Either that or, you know, it's a, just a decapitated rabbit's head and they were just very large that is a possibility we can't rule it out oh here's our green mask was this in the corner it was okay so this is this may not be as difficult as i thought to remember these things uh we got scissors um but yeah you know as as human person actually i take that back i was like i'd be a little bothered to have a just large human head uh you know pillow or whatever in my home but then i thought about like you know, like, anime merch and stuff? Like, they make, like, pillows of, like, anime people's, like, faces and stuff. Um, or, like, you know, little character, like, pillows like that where it is just their head. So it's like, you know, maybe maybe just having, like, a human head in your house isn't that ridiculous. It is a little that ridiculous. Uh, you know, I had to abstract it down to, to, you know, anime before I was like, yeah, okay, no, it makes sense. Oh, we can see all the other rabbits. Oh, do they follow us? Yeah, their, their faces follow us. That's fun. Hey, what's up? Oh, your your head's... Your head's... I don't think rabbits' heads... Okay, okay, I guess they're eating... I guess rabbits eat snails. Hmm. I, I thought they were, like, bespoke herbivore, but I don't know. Maybe hairs are different? I'm not, not exactly sure, because I look... Just looking at the, 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 the rabbit's bride, it's also called the hare's bride, and those do get used... Uh, interchangeably, even though a hare and a rabbit are... I, I mean, I'm not uh, educated on it enough to say how different they are, but hares are a whole hell of a lot bigger. Um, so I assume that there's some stuff going on in that. Um, 
you know, if my if my brain worked, I could recall a little bit of like Watership Down, and maybe that would help. Um, but all I remember is, damn, it's, it's a good book, a lot going on. Oh, this is this is always fun. I'm I'm really enjoying the uh, camera angles that they've chosen for this game. Uh, you know, the um, the cinematic. Uh, uh, fixed perspective, that was the word I was looking for. Uh, angles is always, you know, it's always a fun thing, uh, especially nowadays where, you know, you get your camera control uh, and then, you know, you're going through the video games, you're having the good time. Uh, but, you know, if you're playing like a horror game or something, you don't always get the correct angle on things. Uh, like, you know, you might just be looking at something and then like, oh no, the scary thing I was supposed to be looking at is over there. So, you know, a little bit of fixed perspective is always... You know, it's it's a fun uh, throwback, first off. And then also, you know, it can be very helpful to just find things in the environment. Uh, and, you know, can be can be useful if, uh, you know, you tend to overlook stuff. Uh, I, I tend to get, like, a little, like, uh, it's probably hard to tell thanks to the nature of uh, this is a video. Um, and I'm typically talking, but I tend to just, like, just scour the environment. Like, I will walk around the entire, like, place, checking everything. Uh, which is, you know, can, can be a problem, uh, you know. Oh, what is this? This shows a door, so I guess this is just showing, like, hey, this key goes to this door. Is this only our second key that we've acquired? The key didn't pop up, but it did disappear. So I'll assume we've collected it. Still just telling us not to play in this room. I guess Mother didn't want the uh, the young rabbit to find the um, the hidden dungeon thingy we haven't found any more green eggs uh so i'm wondering if all the green eggs are maybe in that first area and you're supposed to inspect that more to find uh little little sneaky sneakers but who knows we found our keys and we find piece of wood okay well we have piece of wood and that's in the uh dining room so i guess we'll go back to uh, where the rabbits are eating their snails, which, you know, I'm actually just, I'm just going to look this up because I've never heard of this. I'm not exactly sure the best place to search um, animal knowledge like this. Uh, just, you know, just firing it off the cuff like that. But it, hey, it turns out rabbits do just eat snails. I wouldn't have, no, I would have never known, which is weird because I, oh, it, it was a lever. That makes sense. I grew up in areas with lots of rabbits because of, um you know. I uh, grew up like in a, in a suburb. Um, I've mentioned hating the suburbs before. Um, and then uh, for my like first big job out of college uh, in a city, um, a smaller, a smaller big city, but you know, a city uh, and areas like that, you see lots and lots of rabbits. Um, I assume mostly because they've been displaced. So then, you know, you'll just be walking like along, you know, just a bunch of concrete. And then it's like, oh yeah, you know, there's just some rabbits just, chilling in that bush and it's like yeah because they don't have a home to go to anymore uh because you know the place came and got developed uh and now it's just like well where should rabbit go rabbit is gonna stay here and also i guess in those places um like the both both cases um the suburb i grew in was next to a small like wooded area uh which you know i guess you know the rabbits could kind of chill in a bit uh, and the city i mentioned had a big big ass a big big ass a big big ass field um, that I guess, um, somebody was trying to build, someone was probably going to build a big headquarters of some type, because it was a city with a bunch of headquarters and shit, um, and I guess it just didn't come to fruition or whatever. Okay, well, we have a bloody knight over here. I don't seem to be able to interact with this. Oh, whoops, got caught on there a little. So we need to find some kind of offering for this, or some ability to light the candles, but I don't believe we have any items that um i don't believe we have any other uh, items that we haven't used i guess we got scissors i'm not exactly sure how we could utilize scissors um well you know what actually saying oh i don't know how to use that actually like kick-started my brain uh into like oh wait no actually oh hey it's the bloody bloody night guy hey did you see the other oh, rabbits are gone well that's probably not great I guess the knight showed up like, oh, we should get the fuck out of here. Um, which, you know, when you see a bloody knight, probably a good idea just to, you know, book it. Uh, but I do believe that uh, if we go back to the start, um, there was that dollhouse. I think it had like twine or something tying it up. You could probably just 
cut that up. But so these snails, you know, the rabbits bring them here to eat them. And it seems like some of them they have like imprisoned and such, but also some of them they just let crawl around on like the walls of their house seems kind of like a weird decision on the rabbit's part baby rabbit gone too they all got the hell out of here i guess we'll hopefully find the rabbits later you know hopefully nothing bad happened to our friend the rabbits uh, and that's just the jail cells we saw previously i don't believe we actually we did we I, did we get a key oh you know what never mind i figured it out i was like we got that key at the beginning i don't believe we ever used but I'm guessing the idea was we had to collect the key to open the door, almost like an item tutorial. And it wasn't just like, oh, it's a big stone button that you push that opens the door. It was probably supposed to be, oh, you utilize this to unlock this as, you know, like a small tutorial for using an item, which even, you know, something as basic as that. You know, it's always helpful to have stuff like that. Oh, I was hitting, I was hitting Z again. Uh, we got like a little, I was going to say dog, but, it, you know, it's... It's clear it's clearly a rabbit um let's just take one more once over of this see if there's any like points of interest i didn't interact with uh see if we can get some get some green egg you know our favorite green egg no 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 ham ham included um i'm thinking we're probably not going to find it since we found about half of them and that was me just kind of rubbing my face and interacting with things that seemed uh, unique or, you know, noteworthy. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm just going to end up overlooking them. I it will be interested to see. Um, I don't want to touch any giants. That's perfectly fair. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't like getting my hands dirty either. So I, I get it. I would not want to grab a snail shell. Um, I used to have a pet turtle. It took me a while to be like, Oh, I guess it's okay to touch the shell because it's like I feel like you probably shouldn't touch the shell, um, but you know, like you gotta pick the turtle up sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything has changed over here. Uh, so yeah, I'm guessing, guessing I'm not gonna find these other uh, three eggs, uh, and I'm not exactly sure about the first person mode. So that is probably a new game plus. Like, oh, now that you've beaten the game, you can play it a different way. Um, and that's that's probably where, where the other eggs. It's not probably where all the other eggs are hidden, but maybe the the secret to finding the other eggs. Because like you know, I was going around to things that I thought were points of interest, but perhaps in first person they're actually visible. Perhaps there's some kind of like rendering trick there, uh, where uh, you know checks for the camera and then like oh you know it, cameras in this configuration you know actually like render the object and you know makes it instead of walking around and rubbing your face against everything you know you just can like oh their egg i found egg uh but we have our, our little rabbit statuette which i guess we probably could have gone back to earlier uh had i thought about the scissors in context because i was just kind of you know we were still exploring through there was no reason to head back um start thinking about like oh what is how sh should i utilize this item you know we hadn't seen everything yet but it's a good thing we had come back uh, because we wouldn't have gotten to see this bloody night. Um, I, I keep, I'm saying this like this is going to end the, the game. I don't know why, but the, um, well, I, I do know why. It, it's, it's, it's giving me a bit of like, oh, this is going to be the end of the game kind of vibe in that. Um, did we come in here? I don't think we came in this room. Um, in that it's, uh, you know, it's like a, it's like an altar. I feel like we're going to interact with this altar do something and then it's gonna you know do something spooky and it's gonna end hey what's up mother tells me to eat delicious snails so that you know your your mother's a smart little rabbit uh you know telling you to eat the delicious snails can we open the store with this key i mean we just got it so i assume that this isn't the yeah this isn't the right place and i okay i can walk back through here is there anything along this wall it just seems like windows yeah just windows so I'm hoping that this um, this little statuette we got goes on altar because it, it just makes sense to me. Uh, but we do have that key now. As actually, wait, where did that altar room go? Did I misplace the altar? Oh, this just loops us back. Well, that's convenient. Uh, it probably would have helped had I checked, but I was just like, oh, I'm sure this will loop around a different way. Where where did altar room go? I thought it was back here. Did it leap? 
uh, leak. Did it link into? Oh yes, we did a we did a little secret passage here, and then I I guess I just didn't go check down the rest of that hallway because I was so like blindsided by like oh wait we got statuette you know let's 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 do it but we don't have candles mm -hmm. it's probably not a good sign but i mean now that we've placed it um you know how the, the, these these puzzles have gone thus far is uh, it's going to have changed that bloody night we could assume uh into whatever we need to continue no no nothing nothing happened with the the bloody night okay so we don't have i don't think we have any items uh, that we can use. Don't think we have any rooms we haven't gone into. Uh, so sh maybe something changed. Nothing with the fireplace. Uh, maybe something changed around the house or something I overlooked. Because what we probably want is matches or a lighter of some kind. Uh, so we could light those candles would be my guess. But, um, you know. Mm, I, I haven't seen anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just wander around the house a bit uh, and see if I can find... Oh, I found a green egg. Cool. Oh, hey. Uh, there was a... There was like a little thingy uh, in the... Um, back it up. In like the living room type area with the little, little baby rabbit. Um, uh, okay, so we can see... We can see Mallet, which was in the kitchen. We can see the statuette which was that the statuette before we picked it up and we can see the starting room so now that we've placed the statuette down can we pick up that mallet i thought i had attempted that uh but maybe i didn't do a good enough job is this is a different actually wait back it up uh the camera does not want to i probably should just turn around but now i'm yeah we can kind of see like right here is this you can kind of see a bit of an area right here. I'm not sure if that might just be like the wall clipping uh, a bit. Uh, I thought it might be like, oh, is that like the the, the little little sneaky sneakered area? Uh, but no, that doesn't appear to be what was happening. It, I think it was just like clipping through a bit to show you this room. Oh, whoops! I got up on something. Um, I think no, there's nothing on the other side. I think the game just gets a little mad if you rub up the against the wall constantly like I've been doing. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to run over to the kitchen and check that mallet. Yeah, I don't appear to be able to interact with the mallet in any way, so I'm not exactly sure why it showed us it on the thing, because um, my assumption was we would collect the mallet and then we would go back to the start and maybe break that starting mirror. Maybe I picked up the mallet earlier and I just didn't notice, uh, and we can now interact with the starting mirror. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to head back. Okay, well, we're back at the start. Okay, I must have collected uh, that mallet earlier, and I just didn't realize, because we went in there the first time and we got like some kind of, we got the book that we put in, uh, and I guess I just didn't realize. And I missed, I believe, oh, hey, we got got. We, we, we got got and turned into a snail, I guess, is what happened. Uh, probably, we, we probably got got and got turned into a snail. Um, like I said, did not grow up with uh, this story, uh, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think we can probably guess that's the, the idea uh, based on the ending. Um, hmm. Am I able to... Not able to do anything. Let me just... Okay, I think my, I think my, um, there we go. Okay, yeah. I think I had to interact with it to make it go, uh, and my, uh, browser suddenly popped up, and I think might have just taken the, uh, control away. Okay, so, uh, the rabbit uh, took us to their home. We were a, kind of made prisoner a little bit. We were in their jail area, and, like, their nicer jail, um, the one with the, the bed and such, uh, and there was also like the the child room, which also had a jail door on it. Ours did not have a door, or well, it did have a door. We just unlocked it. The key was in our room. That is still a door. It's just not a very well locked door. Um, so rabbits brought us there. Uh, they, you know, once we got out, they were just like, well, whatever. Solve our puzzles if you want, idiot. You're gonna get turned into a snail. Uh, and then we solved their puzzles, and you'll never believe it. We got turned into a snail. 
Um, so I really like this. Like I said, this is the creator's first game. Uh, you know, it's it's more atmospheric than you scary scary. Uh, you know, kind of wondering like what's going on, like the the rabbits like following you around, their heads twisting it around all the way. Uh, you get like a quick little jump scare at the end. You know, you we probably could have expected something was going to happen with the bloody night. I thought it was going to happen a little sooner, to be honest. So. <laughs> the delay of me having to kind of fumble around the house a little bit kind of made that like, oh, shit, right, the bloody night. Yeah, that <laughs> that's a thing. Huh? Um, uh, I, f I always forget, you know, the famous ability of knights covered in blood to turn people into snails. So snail, but rabbit brought us here to turn us into snail, I'm guessing, is how that goes. The rabbit's probably like, hey, hey you thought you could hunt me. Become a snail. We'll hunt you now. And, you know, snails, well, snails can hide in shell, but I'm uh, guessing rabbits can probably slurp them out and it seems like the credits are over i'm not sure if they'll end naturally or if we have to uh, exit out and just out of interest if i hit english i don't okay so i hit start i don't see a way to switch into first person let me just just look at the itch.io real quick okay it's just looking at the itch.io um there's no mention of how to switch it into the first person uh, someone even asked in the comments uh, but the creator didn't exactly state how, so that might be a little sneaky sneaker to figure out how to do that. Um, maybe it's a feature that's not entirely implemented yet. Uh, maybe it's just something that's more intuitive than I would think to switch it. Like, if, what if I mess with the mouse? You know, clicking, you know, doing that. What if I hit every single button on the keyboard and just see, skip that one, just, you know, maybe something will happen. Yeah, because I'm not exactly sure how to switch it. I believe we missed two eggs total, um, which is a shame. Seems like we were getting close to be able to get into that area. Uh, but that does seem to be a a secret of secrets for right now if it it does involve uh, the first person. Because, oh, what it? Oh, that key just closed the game. Whoops. I guess Tildy closes the game. I wasn't expecting that. You Now, you're going to think, hey, idiot, you hit escape. No, escape? Um... Escape opens the menu. Uh, uh, the P or escape key opens the menu. I guess Tildy just closes it. Whoops. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Uh, this is uh, I also just searching first on the itch.io page. This is the creator's first uh, try at a uh, at a 3D game, uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I'm unfamiliar with the fairy tale, uh, but I. Well, I, I, I like this, and I'm going to keep an eye on this creator and see what they do in the future. So this was House of the Leo Pit. L Leo. Le Leopards. I wanted to say Leo. Um, boy, the good old, good old dyslexia. House of the Leopards by Val Darko. Uh, 